have been used for centuries as means of joining or fastening parts together. The chief advantage of using threaded screws is that it is a temporary fastening. In other words, the parts can be assembled or dismantled quickly and without damage. thread is a ridge of uniform section in the form of a helix cut around the circumference of a cylinder and advancing along the axis. The threads are classified as external and internal, right hand and left hand, single and multiple start. External thread is a thread on the outer surface of a part whereas an internal thread is a thread on the inside of a part. A right hand thread when assembled with a fixed mating thread and turned clockwise moves away from the operator while left hand thread when turned clockwise on a fixed thread approaches the operator. A single start thread is a thread in which lead is equal to the pitch of the thread. In multiple start threads, lead is an integral multiple of the pitch. For example, in a double start thread, lead is twice the pitch and in a triple start it is three times the pitch multiple start threads are used for quick fastening of parts Let us now acquaint ourselves with terminology associated with threads. Major diameter is the largest diameter of the thread of the screw. Minor diameter is the smallest diameter of the thread. Pitch diameter is the imaginary diameter numerically equal to the major diameter minus single depth of the thread. Pitch is the distance between the corresponding points 
on the adjacent thread and lead is the distance which a point on a thread advances axially in one turn. Angle of thread is the included angle between the sides of the thread. In this case, thread angle is 60 degrees. The angle between the helix of the thread and the plane perpendicular to the axis is called helix angle. Crest is the top surface joining the two flanks of the thread. Root is the bottom surface joining the flanks of a thread. Let us now have a look on different profiles of thread. Sharp V thread is a thread with sharp edge. It is generally used in watch components. In square threads, the width of the thread, the depth of the thread and the space between two threads is approximately equal. It is a strong thread. Acme thread is a modification of square thread with an included angle of 29 degrees. It is largely used for feed and lead screws of machine tools. Brown and sharp worm thread is another modification of square thread. It is similar to an acme thread with more depth. Butterous thread is cut square on one side and slanting on the other. It is used where a thread with great strength on one side is required. And now to specify screw threads. Here M indicates that it is a metric thread. 20 is the major diameter of the thread in millimeters. Point five is the pitch of the thread in millimeters. 5G, 6G is the tolerance grade of the thread. The common methods of producing threads are with taps and dies on lathe machines. Taps are used for cutting internal threads. A tap set consists of three taps, taper tap, plug tap and bottoming tap. In a taper tap, 8 to 10 cutting edges of the tap are tapered to facilitate easy start of the operation. Whereas in a plug tap, 3 to 5 cutting edges of the tap are tapered. In case of a blind hole, bottoming tab is used after the plug tab to finish the threads up to the required length. No taper is provided on the cutting edges in this case. Before cutting threads, a hole of appropriate size is drilled in the job. The approximate size of the hole is given by the relation T is equal to D minus P where T is the diameter of the drill, D is the diameter of the thread and P is the pitch. First of all, a taper tap is taken and properly secured in a tap wrench. When starting the operation, care must be taken to keep the tap perpendicular to the work. The tap should be revolved only half a revolution at a time and then reversed in the direction of rotation. This will facilitate 
the breaking of metal chips and avoid clogging of tap. After the taper tap, the process is repeated with a plug tap. This will produce the threads closer to the required size. During the operation, lubricating oil must be used for smooth cutting and to avoid damage to the tap. At the end, the buttoning tap is used to cut the threads to the required length. With threading dies, external threads can be cut on round bars. The threading die is secured in a die stock before starting the operation. The bar to be threaded is held in a vise. Then the dial stock is rotated around the bar in clockwise direction. A mild pressure is kept on the dial stock during the operation. It is customary to reverse the direction of rotation of the die occasionally to avoid any damage of the die and threads. Lubricating oil is applied during the operation to allow smooth cutting. The die is rotated up to the required length of the thread to complete the process. Lastly, the die is taken out by rotating it gently in the reverse direction. Internal as well as external threads can be cut on a lathe. Here the main requirement is to have a proper system of gearing between spindle and lead screw. For this 
the lathe is provided with quick change gearbox. The type of thread and required speed is obtained by shifting the levers to the required position. The selection of lever positions can be made from the chart given on the gear box. To start the operation, a part of total depth is given to the tool and carriage is engaged with the lead screw. After the cut is completed, the tool is withdrawn by reversing the direction of rotation of lead screw and carriage is brought back to the original position. The process is repeated till full depth of thread is obtained. We have learnt about methods to produce threads in a workshop. Here are some mass production methods for the manufacture of screws. threads have a great importance in our day-to-day -day life. Their invention have solved the age-old problem of temporary fastening of parts.